name is Luc Laatsen. I come from Belgium. I live in Flanders. Uh, and I'm a sports photographer. Hi, my name is Sean Robinson and I'm a sports photographer who specialises in women's cycling. And so my job entails following the women's peloton around from the entire season covering all the women's world tour races, um, shooting for brands, teams, the UCI, amongst others. I'm a freelance photographer working for uh, Getty Images now and we mainly focus on uh, women's cycling. So I normally arrive at a race a couple of hours before the start. There'll then be a bit of time to get the cameras ready, unpack, and then generally wander around the area, um, seeing what teams are up to, trying to catch those candid moments before the action begins. We take some pictures at, uh, at the campers, uh, or at the podium, at the start itself. We'll then hop on the bike a couple of minutes before the start, and usually head off to a first predetermined location as to be honest not a lot happens in the first few kilometers so it's better to just go straight to a, a pretty spot. We're on the motorbike because you have so many more uh, opportunities to uh, take good pictures when you're uh, doing it by car it's more relaxing you have it's a bit more easy but but then again in, in traffic it's not always easy to get to the points you want to uh, you want to get so on the motorbike you can also be in front of the peloton at a certain distance and you choose the riders you want to take pictures of. Obviously you can get to more spots, mostly on the motorbike um, and then it has its advantages in terms of you get a, an alternative viewpoint that people don't necessarily see sitting on the side of the road. During the race we go off the bike especially to do, uh, to do the landscape. So we, we search for a spot, uh, sometimes we have to climb uh, on, uh, on a mountain or, or we go uh, somewhere where, where, we can see, where we can stay high and, and we see the, the, the peloton beneath. So within the last couple of kilometres, um, unless it's a mountain top finish, we have to dash straight to the finish. So it's important that we're ahead of the race um, before we get into that final 10 kilometres. Um, as you can't really pass after that and then it's a dash to the finish to capture that finish line photo and any celebrations afterwards. When you're on a motorbike, there's a space uh, reserved for you at the finish, so you can sit in the front. Uh, then we take the, the finish picture. The motor driver uh, goes along to the, to the podium or somewhere uh, where the podium is. Um, we take finish pictures, then we do uh, after the finish uh, celebrations, emotions, uh, um, cyclists that are sitting on the road, uh, stuff like that. Then we go to the podium, do our work over there. After that we jump on the motorbike again and we go to the press room. And then actually the, the work starts uh, to edit the pictures, uh, process the pictures. So most people think that the race is over, our job is done but that's not the case. Uh, we go to the press room and then when we are lucky, it takes us an hour, an hour 30, but. During a day shooting, it varies depending on the race, but I rarely take more than a thousand photos. The more you take, the more you have to look for it. <laughs> Try to be as selective as possible. And that usually gets them whittled down to somewhere about 120 to 150 photos. 
yeah, I really like my job because um, I do like traveling. You come to nice places. Um, second, I, I love cycling almost all my life. So uh, combining the two of the two things that I like the most, it's, uh, it's a dream job.